Welcome back! We've got our way out of here, but first we want to use this computer monitor to read what's on our mysterious data cartridge. Let's see uh, what uh, information about Van Allen belts is on there. Or something else, maybe. Why the scientists thought it was important. I do remind you, however, that the manual states there is a one buckazoid per day fee for overdue cartridges. But since the Arcada blew up, I'm guessing we won't have to pay that. Well, let's see what uh, we've got here. Loading. Whoever shall read this. My name is Dr. Slash Vohol. I am a scientist with the Star Generator Project aboard the Starlab Arcada. We have just successfully completed development and testing of the Star Generator. During this time I have come to believe that our progress has been monitored by others. I fear that the Sarians may have learned of our mission. If my fears prove true, the Star Generator and the people of our universe are in serious jeopardy. And his fears have proven true, so he was right. The Star Generator is a miraculous device. Used as intended, it will help preserve life for eons to come. Used as a device for evil, it would cause the destruction of millions of lives and enslave all who oppose the Syrians. And that would not be a good thing, I bet. Encoded within this cartridge are all the plans and specifications for the construction of the Star Generator. Let's see if we can make a backup if we uh, blow this one up. Make a new one. Should any disaster befall the Star Generator project, scientists would be able to create a duplicate of the Star Generator with this information. I'm impressed, they actually have good uh, backup uh, practices. Please guard it with your life and return it to the Xenian ruling body as quickly as possible. Well, they sure knew how to pick someone to entrust that to. Important note, the Star Generator is capable of self-destruction. This was introduced to the system as a precaution. To activate it, one must enter the code 5454. Now, I'm betting we're gonna need that. So I better make a note of that, and I do think it is random. A five-minute time will begin to count down. Beware, anyone within five kilometers of the Star Generator will be in danger once the timer has been initiated. Please be careful, and... Good luck. Interesting. That was no information on Van Ellen belts after all. It was um, important stuff. Now, one uh, thing you can do here is forget the data cartridge, which does not lead you to uh, a nice ending. So let's take it with us. Because if you forget it, you can't get back here, so you have to load some time before this point and redo the entire rest of the game. Now I'm gonna save here as um, Skimmer, because when I get into this Skimmer, it uh, initiates a arcade sequence, and I can choose to either do that or skip that. I'm gonna try and do it. Um, Oh, we didn't get the funny reverse scene. Anyway, uh, sometimes he puts the gear into reverse and then crashes backwards and then goes out properly. This section is an arcade sequence. Would you like to play or skip this sequence? Well, I'm gonna try it once and when I inevitably die, um, I'll uh, reload and skip. The controls of this are a little bit tricky, you can actually use the mouse or the keyboard. The keyboard is a little bit easier, at least I think so. You can hit the small rocks three times. The big ones, they uh, kill you instantly. Actually not doing too bad, despite that initial uh, screw up. Of course, now that I've said that, I will immediately die, probably. Oh, there comes Corona of uh, Yulin's Flats, our destination. Ah, oh, damn it! 
Late warning, the big rock cuts you no slack. Gee, thanks! Fortunately, I already knew that. Okay, well, we'll uh, just skip the arcade sequence, because it's just more of the same until you actually reach uh, Yulin's Flats. And you don't actually lose points for not doing it. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Oops, had to dar darn thing in reverse. I hope nobody saw that. Well, at least we got to see that, thanks to my screw-up there. Skip it! Still get to watch it. Although it goes a lot quicker than uh, if you didn't. I do like the music. Very uh, catchy tune. Okay. I'll stop doing that now. If only this thing would float a little bit higher over the ground, then those rocks wouldn't even be a problem. Maybe you could try playing the, ar playing the arcade sequence next time. Well, I tried it last time and I died! Okay! There we are, Yulin's Flats. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. After a truly stone-crushing journey, you have miraculously arrived safely in Yulin's Flats. And just in time, too, because the skimmer's power cell has been drained. It will take some time to recharge itself. In other words, we aren't going anywhere with that thing. This place isn't quite what you had expected. It is semi-bleak at best. I guess that means we had expected it to be uh, bleaker than this. An odd-looking fellow is lounging against the wall of a nearby building, watching you with a great deal of interest. He looks, uh, sort of untrustworthy. Seems to be interested in the skimmer. Say, pal, I couldn't help but noticing your skimmer. It's a genuine 86 play ads GL. I've been looking everywhere for one of these babies. How'd you like to unload it for the unheard of prize of 25 buckazoids? Now, oh, this is one of the um, most screwy parts of this game is that if you've if you take this deal, you'll get stuck later. And you won't have any idea what you did wrong once you get there. So, no way. Fine. Be that way. Because he'll come back with a better offer. Um, not only will he give more money, um, but he'll also offer something else. Oh, and... You'd better take the keys. You remove the skimmer's key from its dashboard. Because if you don't, this thing will get stolen. Alright, let's uh, take a look around at this new location. Yulin's Flats is a typical example of some of the frontier settlements that sprang up in the early days of Outer Zone exploration. Unfortunately, this attracted many unsavory quick buckazoid types. Caution is advised. Hence uh, why we need to take the keys, I guess. The sign is very unusual. It looks as though the whole building has been constructed around the wreckage of a crashed spaceship. Or maybe the traffic around here is just really awful. Either is possible, I guess. There is a rounded structure here with a door on one side. It is typical of some of the prefab structures constructed in some frontier areas re years ago. Oh, that gives the same message. I thought it might give something about this round green thing. Hey, I recognize that shuttle back there! This appears to be a long-range shuttle, perhaps from a large starship. It looks vaguely familiar somehow. Hey, he's coming back. Okay, buddy, you drive a hard bargain. This is my final offer, and I'm only making it because I can see you need it pretty bad. 
Okay, what is it? I'll make it 30 buckazoids and I'll throw in this swell jetpack. It was previously owned by a little old Fark, who only flew it back and forth to Fleabot on, on a Sunday. It works great in zero gravity. You'll love it. Fleabot is another reference to Space Crush 3. Do we have a deal or don't we? It's a deal. Great. You see, you need that jetpack later on, and if you took his first offers, offer, then you'll be st stick, uh, stuck later. Glad we could do business. I'll just take that key, thank you kindly. In addition, I'd like you to have these coupons, good for discounts and free merchandise from some of our local merchants. As a representative of the Ulan's Flats Chamber of Commerce, I hope you enjoy your visit to our friendly little community. Later, you'll need a jetpack, and if you don't uh, have it, then uh, you will have no idea where you could have gotten it if you didn't take this offer. Of course, it's pretty much standard practice to try and uh, haggle this kind of deal in this kind of game. Let's see if there's anything better you can get for it. But still, it is a pretty uh, dirty trick. Anyway, we'll uh, continue looking around uh, this interesting place in the next video.